you buy a tent or a camper van awning, whether it be from Old Pro or from any other brand out there, you very often get the standard steel wire pegs uh, included within it. These are absolutely fine and, and work on, on most surfaces, uh, and so very often there's no need to really upgrade, but we do offer a wide variety of different pegs. The first one to go to is a plastic peg. These are really good in soft ground, they've got a really good guide point on them, and especially if you're going to be anchoring your tent or wherever it may be on a beach or kind of more sandy surface, a plastic peg is perfect. Um, you then go up to hard ground peg. Now these, as you can see, is a much thicker steel peg, plastic head, and uh, these are great on sort of much harder surfaces, so whether it be so it's a little bit rocky or just hard standing, you can uh, push these in. And these are great also for just around the tent or around the camper van, and then you can use your standard pegs, the wire ones, just for the guy lines, okay? As well as using those, as well as offering those, we also offer a glow-in-the-dark variation. These are exactly the same as you can see, but the, the plastic head on these absorb the sunlight, and then for a few hours after dark, you get a slight glow from the head of the peg, which is great if you've been out on an evening and you can't see the guy lines or you can't see where your tent is, you can use these as guidance. The final peg that we offer is the uh, what's called mushroom peg or the ground sheet peg, and these are ideal for, um, for putting in place either a ground sheet, whether it be a footprint ground sheet, or whether it be a uh, breathable ground sheet on something like a caravan awning. And as you can see, these go straight into the ground like that, and then you've got very little kind of jutting up above the ground, and it just means you don't stub your toe on them as you go around. So these are great for that, obviously a very different sort of peg. And then in terms of putting them into the ground, what we always go, what we always say about putting pegs in, you can see this, is that just to angle them ever so slightly as you hammer them in, just so they pull away from the tent. And in terms of guidelines, to always guide the tent out in line with the line of the tent itself.